What do we have here? A dual bay docking station. And we are going to unbox that piece. So what is this good for? If you have a naked hard drive and you need to get to the data, if you don't want to install it in an enclosure, you can use a docking station like this to fast connect this drive to your computer. Let me unbox this and see what we have inside. Wow, there is not much in it, right? Just this. Let's see if there is any more in here. Oh, maybe we get lucky. Yes, there is. What do we have? One package, two, and the manual. A manual that shows how to do this. This is how long it is. It has something on there. Okay, what else do we have? We have a USB 3 cable in a nice bag. There it goes. USB 3. Yeah. You can recognize on the blue plastic in there, it's USB 3. We have a power supply. Two thousand five hundred milliamp, twelve volt. The regular connector. And then here, look at this. HDD one and two. In the back, the USB thing, 12 volt, and on off. This is the bottom. The most important, the front. There's LEDs all the way around here, and the button that says "Clone" on it. Look at this, Clone. So I assume you can take one drive and clone it to another. Wouldn't that be nice if I would try that? I think I'm going to try that. So here we are trying to the clone function. Okay. So as we can see here, those are the connections of my drive. And I plug the drive in here like this, the first one. Push it all the way down, drive number one. And this is the source and the target drive. So if I want the same data on this drive, I plug this in here. Look at that. Then I turn it on in the back, as in a second here. So in the back now, I turn the on switch. We'll see what happens. They say 10 seconds you have to wait. This is probably for both drives to start up. Sounds good. And then I push the clone button. And then it's supposed to start cloning. Do you see anything happening? Me neither. So it says push and hold the clone button for three seconds to begin the duplication. One, two, three. With three good seconds. Now we see there is LEDs flashing. Let me zoom into the LEDs. Look at that. It doesn't look too bad.
it's going back and forth, right? So the duplication is in process for the LEDs moving back and forth. The duplication is complete when all LEDs stay solid. And we see the ring here is at 25%. So when this thing is copied 50%, the blue line probably will be here. 70%, 100%, the whole thing will light up. This is a pretty neat device. And as we can see on the packaging here, it does two and a half and three and a half discs. Nice.